What's up, everybody? First off, I just wanted to give a big thank you to everybody who's been supporting the show. I just hit 100 subscribers, and I didn't know if anybody would have any interest in listening to anything that I had to say. So when I started this show, it was just something to entertain myself with and uh, get a little bit better with my video production and my camera skills. And um, I never really knew what to expect as far as growth goes. but. Um, anyway, I want to get the show rolling, but again, thank you, thank you all so much. I just picked this up, refurbished on Newegg, for a little over 50 bucks. It's a Intel-based Chromebook. Um, I personally am not a big fan of Chrome OS. I think it's great at doing what it's supposed to do, but for my purposes, the OS is just a little bit too trimmed down. Um, so I'm going to replace the OS on this with something else. I thought about putting Windows on here, but this thing only has a 16 gig MSATA hard drive, so I didn't think about that for very long before I decided that I really need to go with a Linux distribution. When I tore into the thing, I even considered upgrading the MSATA hard drive, but you'll see when I open this up that it doesn't leave a lot of space for doing that, and really I think it's a little bit more complicated than this particular machine is worth. I think I've rambled about this thing enough. Time to see how I did it. I'm just kidding, my bed's right there. You're going to need a small Phillips head screwdriver to remove the back panel of the laptop. There's a right protection screw on the motherboard that needs to be removed before you can install a different operating system. Removing the back panel is simple enough. There are seven screws that need to be removed. Then use something small and thin to get leverage to start prying off the back panel. I use a tiny flathead screwdriver and I use a PC backplate as my prying device. It works out pretty well, just go slow and gentle. Once you get the backplate off, here's your motherboard. This is the screw that you need to remove. It's marked WP. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove that screw and now replace the back cover. Press firmly, but don't force the back panel back on. If it doesn't snap easily, you're doing something wrong. Just reseat it and try again. Now replace all of the screws, and that part is done. Now you need to enable developer mode. With the Chromebook powered off, hold Control plus Refresh and push the power button. You will see an alert warning you that Chrome OS is missing or damaged. Just press Control plus D to bypass this screen. Then you'll see this message. Just press Enter to continue. After the Chromebook reboots, you'll see a message telling you that OS verification is off. It says press space to re-enable. Do not press space. Just wait for a few seconds and ignore this screen. Now you'll have a pretty long wait as your computer transitions to developer mode. Just be patient. After that's done, the computer will reboot and you'll see this message again telling you that OS verification is off. Do not press space, just wait a few seconds or press Control plus D to ignore the message and boot into Chrome OS. Now that you're into Chrome OS, the easiest way to do this is just go to mrchromebox.tech. Click on the firmware utility script link to the left. A little ways down the page, you'll see a CD command followed by a curl command. Copy that line. Press Control plus T to open a terminal window. At the command line, type shell and paste the command that you copied from mrchromebox.tech. You'll see this screen. Select option number three to install the full ROM firmware. You'll get a warning, and if you want to continue to install the firmware, press Y and Enter. It will also give you another warning, letting you know that this is going to be destructive to your Chrome OS. You'll need to install another operating system. Luckily, that's what we're doing here. It will ask you if you want to back up a copy of your stock firmware. This is up to you. Personally, I did not. Now, the installation will continue. It will download the full ROM firmware and install it. Just wait and let the installation run its course. When it's done, press Enter to return to the main menu. Now key in R to reboot. 
If you did everything right, this is what you should see. Now we need to download Gallium OS. Go to galliumos.org and click on the download button. Make sure you get the appropriate build for your particular Chromebook. Mine is using a Baytrail processor, so that's what I downloaded. After that ISO has finished downloading, you'll need to install it to bootable USB media to get it to boot on the Chromebook. There are a ton of tutorials all over the internet on how to do this already. I think it's beyond redundant for me to cover that here. A good place to start if you don't know how to do it is just Google Rufus. After you've created your bootable ISO media, insert that into a blank USB slot on the Chromebook and power it on. Tap Escape to bring up your boot options. And when you see this gray screen, select Boot Manager. Select EFI USB device and this will load the Gallium installer. Before I ran the Gallium installer, I loaded up Gparted from within Gallium Live and made sure that I just deleted all instances of the old Chrome OS that was still on the hard drive, just to be safe and give it a good, clean, fresh install. Now just run Install Gallium OS on the upper left corner and the installation should be pretty basic and straightforward. Just follow the on-screen prompts and you shouldn't experience any problems. For the little bit that I use this operating system, I gotta tell you, I'm really impressed by how snappy and responsive it is. It does everything that I expected this little laptop to do and beyond. I am just blown away by how well this $50 laptop performs, especially with the battery life. It is just amazing. So that was it. Do you use a Chromebook? Have you used Chrome OS? What do you think of it? Would you rather replace it with a different operating system? Or does it fulfill your needs? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video and you want to see more tech videos from me in the future, hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell so you stay notified. Also, leave a like. It really helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.